let's have uh Lian, Lian, your turn. Let's have Lian, please uh, lead the prayer for the day. You may now start by asking your classmates if they're ready to pray. Ready to pray, classmates. Answer, yes. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Everyone, give us this day. And do not bring us to the test of daily bread as for the people. Amen. Holy Mary, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us now and the hour of death. Amen. 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 Pray for us. Pray for us. Pray for us. Pray for us. In the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. All right. So good morning to everyone. Hey, I using only aking camera. All right. There you go. You can see me now, right? Aking kita ni sir Iman. Yes. No. And I think you can hear me clearly because it's a mass agote. Okay, let's start our today's lesson with a review. My short review, tayo le. As always. So na pagdalan tayo mga about desktop, ano? So Windows ten tayo. So it it yung itsura ng ating desktop, Windows ten desktop. So what do you call these small pictures? Icons. icons. All right, so they are the icons. How about the whole digital background? Ano yung buong background na ating desktop? Wallpaper. Right, that's the wallpaper. So how about this one? Yung nasa left bottom corner. Taskbar. No, no, the left, left, left bottom corner. Yung sa corner. Notification area. Uh, nasa right yung notification area. How about nasa left? Start button. All right, the start button. <laughs> So ngayon, ang tatanong ko is, yung pinaka-ilalim, yung, yung buong ilalim natin, yung the whole bar. Alright, is that the bar? And the, yung nasa pinakasulok na nasa right? Notification area. Alright, so that's the notification area. Very good. Okay, looking closer, looking up closer sa ating uh, start menu. 
So this is the start menu natin. Uh, this is the left pane. So anong tawag dito? In three lines. Menu. Right. Menu. menu. The menu is this expandable. If you read this, so yung descriptions ng mga to lalabas. Okay? So this is the, the account. Naipakita ko na. Okay, what? So ano yung after ng account? Sa ilalim niya. File Explorer. Right, that's the File Explorer. So very good. How about this gear? Settings. Settings, right. And yung nasa bottom. Power. Alright, it's so a power icon. And then... All of these icons, ito mga to, icons with this dito, yung tawag dito. App, the... Application. Alright, so they are all the applications, ano? So those, oh, or, or all programs, yan. So all applications or all programs ay nandito, uh, are listed here, alphabetically. Yan. Now, punta tayo sa ating main discussion for today, which is, called the Windows 10 settings. So, ito na yung in-edit ni Sir Iman, ano? Uh, ito yung, yung may malaking pagbabago sa inyong module. Alright, so, ito na, no? Uh, Windows 10 is full of specialist tools that are used to change the way Windows looks and behave. And it also provides the options for you to customize the appearance and functionality of your computer. Pwede kang mag-add or, or, ka mag or remove ng programs, pwede kang mag-set up ng network connections, and pwede ka rin mag-add ng user accounts gamit ang ating Windows 10 settings. So basically, the Windows settings is a part of uh, the Microsoft Windows graphical user interface which allows you the, the user to view and uh, manipulate and uh, to view and manipulate basic system settings and controls. So yun ang nagagawa ng Windows 10 settings. Right? So there are three ways for you to be able to access the settings app. Patlong paraan, ano? So yung una natin, so how to open the Windows 10 settings app? Diba tinuro ko sa inyo start button? Right? So first is, uh, okay. Punta mo lang sa keyboard pala muna sa keyboard. So use, who is using a, um, who is using a computer right now or laptop? Uh, Cassie and Lian. Who else? JB, I think JB. JB are using a laptop right now? And he's gone. <laughs> no, wala sa JB. How about, uh, Si given ba? Ang gam anong gamit mo ngayon given? Can you hear me given? Cellphone ko po. Ah, cellphone naman. Okay, so try na na, no? Uh, on your keyboard. Yeah, on your keyboard, ah. So, the uh, first thing is you need to press the window key. So, alam nyo ba yung window key kung nasaan? So, you need to press window key plus the letter I. So, so, you're going to press it together. So, sa ating keyboard, ayan yan. Yung window key is in between control and alt key. Try nyo nga yung, naka, yung gumagamit ng computer ngayon or laptop. Kung lalabas ba siya. Bago nyo i-close mamaya kung lumabas na. Ingat sa pagko-close, baka mamaya ma-close niya i-zoom. Okay na? Kasi nung ba sa'yo? Ano nakalagay? Window. Alright. So ito na, no? Okay, yan. So lumabas yung settings niya, no? So that's, uh, that's the first way kung paano ma-open ng Windows 10 settings app. Now, the second way is, uh, you need to click start. Yung, yung tinuro ko sa inyo kanina, uh, yung, yung tinuro ko last time. So, click start. Ayan, yung start, start button. And then, choose settings. Yung nasa left pane natin. So, menu. 
So this is the account, uh, the settings, and the, the power icon. So yun lang, ano? So start. So gamit, gamit ang mouse natin, uh, you need to click the start and then choose settings. So click nyo yan. So ganun din yun. So instead of using your keyboard, kung tamad kayo yung keyboard, gusto nyo, mouse lang gamitin nyo. So just uh, click start and then settings. As simple as that. And the third way to access settings is paggamit ng search, ng search bar. No? So yung search bar natin, makikita sa taskbar. Okay? So ito yon. So that's the search bar. Alright? Yung search bar natin, so located siya just beside the start menu or the start button. So you just need to type settings. And type new settings dyan. And the option to click the settings up will appear. So lalabas ito. Okay, once lumabas na yan, so you, you can click here or here. Okay, so pwede ka mag-click dito. Again, dito sa settings or here. And then magpa-pop up na or lalabas na yung ating Windows 10 settings screen. Yan. So, ganito itsura ng ating settings, set, settings app. And here, in the Windows 10 settings screen, uh, marami na bago. No? So, Windows 10 reorganized a lot of system settings into a new settings app. Dati kasi, ganito itsura ng ating control panel. Okay? Nung Windows 7 pa, ganyan ang itsura niya. So, ayan, system security, network internet, hardware and sound, programs, ease of access, clock, language and region, appearance and personalization, user accounts, and family safety. Ngayon, ito na itsura niya. Okay, ito yung system. Actually, gusto ko tandaan din yung mga icons. Ah. Yung how the icons looks like. And then, you're going to identify kung ano siyang, kung anong category siya. Okay? So, meron tayong mga categories dito. Oh, I need to show pala my settings here. Alright. So magbabago tayo na ano, papalito ko ang screen ha. <coughs> At that one. Ayun. So, dumami kayo. Dumami kayo. Dumami. Alright. So, what you're seeing right now is my window settings. Dito mismo sa aking laptop. So, I, I press window key and then letter I. So, in the settings app, there are a number of categories that encompass most of your computer settings. So, these are the, <clears throat> these are the categories. System. Devices, phone, network and internet, personalization, apps, accounts, time and language, gaming, ease of access, search, privacy, update, and security. So, ang tawag sa kanila ay categories. Right? So, each category ay merong mga subcategories within it. So, let's say for example, apps. Okay, dito sa apps tayo ha. Nandito yung aking mouse. So, ikiklik yung apps. So uh, app category apps category is where you uh, you could in, uninstall and uh, put defaults no sa mga programs natin. Okay, wait lang natin mag-load. Na-click ko na siya, na-click ko na 'yung apps. Kasi marami nakabukas ngayon sa akin laptop ano, kaya medyo matagal siyang mag-load. Oh, and it's not working. How about system? Maglag siya, actually. Ayan, okay. So, ito na, no? So, pumasok ngayon tayo sa... Ay, si kaya pala. May, nag, may magbubukas na, ano, na folder. Okay, so this is now our apps and features category. Okay. So here in the left pane, or the navigation, navigation pane, dito natin makikita ang tinatawag na subcategories ng apps. So ito yung apps natin, this is, the, this is the main category. And these 
And these are the subcategories ng apps. Okay? And ito namang part na to, <clears throat> ito yung specifics, ano? Ito yung specifics ng, ng ating subcategories. Okay? So sa ngayon, nandito tayo sa apps and features. Okay? So pag-click ko ito, mababago yung ating specifics, default apps. Yan. So here, we can customize. Pwede na tumabago kung ano yung mga default apps na pwedeng magbukas ng ating mail, ang map, uh, ng ating music player, photos, yan. This is my default, uh, default web browser. And so just click here. Pwede ka na mamili ng mga default na player natin. And so I'll, I'll be choosing VLC player. And ang tagal niya. So supposedly, so dito, mapupunta na yung, mag ng icon dito ng VLC player. So once na nakapag-choose na kayo kung alin ang inyong magiging default app that you're going to use sa mga uh, videos. I just don't know what, why is this happening. Yan. Okay na. Okay, so again, Ito yung subcategories natin and these are the uh, this is the specifics. Okay. Now, for you to be able to go back ha, huh? uh, wait pala natin. Sa apps and features, so ito yung kanyang specifics. So here, pwede kang mag-uninstall ng mga programs or mga software na naka-install sa inyong computer. So let's say um Yan. Uh, gusto na, yung, yung easy photo scan, gusto mo siyang i-uninstall. Yan. Just click, just click here, the easy photo scan, and then magkakaroon ka na ng option to uninstall the program or the app. Okay? Easy photo scan. So, yan. So, just click this, uninstall, na hindi ko naman gagawin kasi matatanggal siya. Okay. So, just click here. Okay? Now, for you to be able to go back so the whole home screen ng ating settings ng ating setting screen so just click here no ito home so just click here home and mapupunta ka na rin sa ating home screen ng window settings okay now i'm going to try to show you yung bawat uh, bawat category no okay, let's start with system so yung system ito yung kanyang icon mukha siyang laptop yung icon ng system. So here, it contains the display, uh, notification, and the power settings. Okay, so here, yan, display, sound, notifications, and pati yung mga power settings. Dito natin pwede makita. Right? And scrollable siya. Pwede ma-scroll hanggang ilalim, about, and projecting this PC. So dito natin siya pwede mabago. So yung gusto mo i-customize ang yung sounds, Pwede ka mamili kung aling speaker ba or aling output ang magbabato ng sound sa'yo. Sa ngayon, dalawa yung naka-install sa akin na speakers. Uh, micro, speaker 1 is the USB audio. So ito yung gamit ko ngayon. And the other one is the Realtek High Definition Audio which is yung ngayon, hindi nyo na nakikita. So, meron ako isa pang speaker dito sa aking harapan. But right now, I'm using the uh, the MV. MVC can be one od uh, USB audio, which is this one, yung aking headset ngayon. So kung halimbawa, pinili ko yung ito, yung isa, yung real tech na to, once na kayo nagsalita, lalabas ngayon sa other speaker yung inyong mga boses. Doon kayo maririnig. And the master volume, of course, pwede kong pahinain, pwede kong palaksan by using this one. Alright. Input is your microphone. Ayan. So I have three microphones that is installed in my computer. So dito ko siya pwedeng piliin if I if I will eh, kung gusto kong uh, ilipat ano yung aking input. Okay, next is so balik tayo sa ating home screen. Next is devices. So devices contains hardware and devices kasama na rin yung Bluetooth devices that are connected to your computer. So all of the peripherals that are connected to your computer or to your laptop, dito natin makikita sa devices. Ayan, gaya printers and scanners, mouse, touchpad. Touchpad is 
uh, available kung halimbawa naka-laptop kayo, no? Ah, uh, yan, Bluetooth and other devices. Right now, wala nga, wala akong nakakabit na Bluetooth dito. Any device that is connected through Bluetooth, wala. Kaya ayan, so wala naman masyadong makikita rito. So right now, it's uh it's on yung aking Bluetooth, but it's not uh walang walang peripherals na nakakonek sa kanya. All right. Balik tayo sa ating home screen ulit. Eh, wag na to, hindi to masyadong ginagamit. So network and internet. So network and internet, uh, it contains your network settings, of course. So, mafa Wi-Fi man to or wireless fidelity. So, if you're connected through Wi-Fi, dito natin siya pwedeng ma-access. Ano? Pwede natin ma-edit or ma-customize yung ating Wi-Fi connection. Kung internet naman, if you're connected through LAN cable, kung gumagamit kayo ng kable. So, if your laptop or if your computer is connected to your modem through a LAN cable. So, dito natin siya pwedeng ma-customize. Or pwede natin ma-repair, ma ma-troubleshoot dito rin. Right, next is personalization. So, after network and internet, personalization tayo. So, dito naman sa personalization, baka nga ito yung madalas yung panggamitin eh. Kasi here in personalization, This uh this category allows you to change the background uh, yung wallpaper natin, yung lock screen image and even the colors. So ito background, colors, lock screen themes, yan. Even the fonts dito rin pala kasama. Yan. So if you want to change the background, dito ka lang pupunta and it will change your wallpaper. So right now, ito yung ating uh, background ngayon or the wallpaper. So ikaw to itsura ng at ng aking Uh, wallpaper. Okay? So, ganito siya. So, ganito rin itsura ng ating start, uh, ng ating start menu. So, pinapakita lang yung colors. Ano? Right. Siguro mamaya. Uh, sige, try na natin ito. No? So, dito, mayroong mga default pictures dito na pwede mo magamit. Okay? So, just click dito. Kung, kung alin man ang gusto mo rito, i-click mo lang yan. Magbabago ng wallpaper mo. Or, Kung meron ka namang naka-save sa iyong computer na gusto mong gawing wallpaper, so dito ka naman pupunta sa browse. Just click browse and then uh, the file explorer where op will open up for you and then pwede mo nang ayan, ito na. And then pwede mo nang piliin kung ano yung uh, picture na gusto mong mapa uh, mapa save o uh, maging wallpaper mo. So, sa ngayon, wala masyado akong nakasave dito. Kaya, ayan, wala akong mapipili rito na uh, pictures or images na pwede kong gawing wallpaper. So, ito, ito yung mga ano nyo eh. This is your module. Screenshots. Oh, wala, wala rin yung screenshots. So, that's it. Okay. Okay, going back to our home screen. Do you follow ba? Can you follow? Yes? No? Hindi ko kayo nakikita actually. Okay? Kasi yung naka, naka, oh, nakaharap sa akin ngayon or nasa screen ko ngayon ay window settings. So natatakpan kayo ng window settings ko. Okay, next is uh, yung apps. Napakita ko na kanina. So punta tayo sa accounts. So these accounts displays uh, the connected account information and the sign-in options. Right now, so sabi ko, ito yung aking laptop na ginagamit. So ito yung nakalagin ngayon. This is my local account. So pwede ka maglagay ng picture uh, just, just by choosing any picture na nakasave sa inyong computer. Ano? Emails and accounts kung gusto man online. Online account ang nakalagin. Ang naka so right now, so ito yung, uh, kung gusto kong ilagin yung aking Microsoft account sa so ito, pwede kong piliin yan. But right now, naka-local account ako. Kasi kung walang internet, hindi ka makapag-sign in. So sign in options, <clears throat> through here, pwede mong tanggalin yung password, pwede ka maglagay ng password sa so sign in options. So ito, um, Windows Hello PIN, security key, password. So dito naman, if you kung gusto mong PIN code, nabawa numbers ang gusto mong ilagay, so welcome, okay, kasi before ka mapunta sa iyong desktop kasi, Meron siyang welcome na ano no, meron, meron siyang welcome window. So welcome window, 
doon ka pwedeng maglagay ng mga pin codes or ng password before ma before dumiretso ang computer sa iyong desktop. Okay? So ito, kung pin code, pwede kang maglagay ng numbers na mawa, gusto mo ah uh, 0000. Pwede ganoon. I just just uh, click this, add ano. Pwede namang security key. So security key gagamit ka rito ng flash drive. Kung saan doon ma save ang iyong key. So kailangan every time that you're going to turn on your computer para dumiretso sa ating desktop, kailangan ipa-plug mo yung iyong uh, uh, flash drive, okay? So halimbawa dito sa flash drive ito, dito naka-save yung key or the or the security key. I need to plug this every time na ako ay mag-turn on ng computer. And password. So kailangan naman dito is online. So kailangan nakalog in ang iyong Microsoft account. All right? So Microsoft account na kailangan dito. All right, next is um time and language. So of course, it contains time language and the regional settings so right now it's may it's may 4th year 2022 9:13 in the morning so ito naman by default naka set time automatically so once you're connected to the internet and so automatic ay ilalagay na niya yung standard time kung saan ka man nakatira or kung saan man ang location mo so right now ang ginagamit natin is this is our time zone UTC plus 800 time, which is uh, nasa Taipei. You know? Taipei is Taiwan, which is nasa taas lang ng Philippines. You know? So this is our time. Ito yung ating time na ginagamit, time zone. Alright, next is um, ease of access. So ease of access, uh, this provides... The accessibility features for individuals with disabilities. So if you're having problem with your eyes, so pwede natin mabago rito yung, icon, yung ating mga letters, yung sample text natin. Ayan. So pwede natin mapalaki using this uh, ease of access category. So pwede mapalaki yung mga texts. Ayan. Kasi by default, ganito lang kaliit yan. Ayan yung sample text natin, nakikita nyo sa screen niyo. So ito lang yung Uh, default niya. But, pwede mo siyang palakihin into 225%, which is ganito kalaki ang magiging itsura niya sa screen. Okay? Now, what if uh, hindi lang ba siya, hindi pala siya basta malabo, ano? Alimbawa, talagang wala, wala na siyang, ano, wala siyang paningin na. Or sobrang labo na talaga ang inyang paningin, ano? Uh, we, you can use the magnifier or pwede ka maglagay ng narrator. So sa narrator naman, once na ito'y naka-turn on, yung narrator natin, hindi pa siya lumala. Okay, yan. Ayan, so ito lang, no? ito turn naman yung narrator. So every time that you're going to uh, hover your mouse, ito yung ating mouse pointer, yung gumagalaw sa atin ngayon. So once na hinover mo sa isang link, may magsasalita para sa'yo. Okay? May magsasalita sa computer. So let's say sabihin niya ay, nakatuturo din sa display. So I think babae ang ano no, babae ang boses nakalagay ay display. Cursor and pointer. Pag nilipat mo rito, magnifier. Ayun, may magsasalita na narrator. So ikaw naman, right na s'yempre wala na 'yung paningin mo, maririnig mo 'yon. So kung gusto mong pumunta sa color and color filters, itapat mo ron, uh, isa-isa mo itap isa-isa mo itapat 'yung mouse going to color filters hanggang sa may magsalita, color filters. So yun na. You're already there. So, i-click mo na ngayon siya. Right? And, okay, last two tayo, last two. Privacy na tayo, privacy. So, privacy naman, this allows you to determine which apps can access your hardware and data. So, ito naman nagagamit ko usually. Ba't uh, nawala yung ano ko? Alright, so yung mga apps permissions. So, let's, just like this, my camera. Yung camera ko, ang mga pwede um, na mag-access is Google Chrome, OBS Studio, Zoom Meetings, and ito pa, uh, Microsoft Edge, Skype. 
But the other here, the other apps here, gaya ng 3D Viewer, Microsoft Photos, Microsoft Store, yan, naka-off sila. Ini-off ko yan kasi hindi ko naman ginagamit yan. So, they're not allowed to access my camera. So, yan. Kung halimbawa, gamit-gamit mo yun ng camera mo, just like, like gaya ngayon, so it's being used by the OBS Studio. Okay? And the OBS Studio, siya naman ang nagbabato ng aking image sa inyo. Alright? Again, privacy, it allows you to determine which apps can access your hardware and data. And lastly, before we end up our lessons, is the update and security. Well, of course, ang, ang, ang content niya is uh, the updates and security settings of your, uh, of your Windows. So right now, yung aking Windows update is uh, currently unavailable. Ipinos ko muna siya. Uh, kasi ayoko, masyad, ayoko lagi nag-update yung aking Windows. Kasi minsan, uh, nagka-crash yung aking, ano, no, yung aking operating system or my OS every time na, uh, may mga time na nagka-crash siya dun sa ilang updates. Alright. Any question? Do you have any question? Sure? Nauna ng ating Windows 10 settings. Alright. So medyo nasasayaw na si Cassie. <laughs> nasasayaw. Buti lang hindi sa screen mo naka-record yung, ano, <laughs> yung pagsasayaw. Alright. So that's it for today. Uh, on Friday will be your quiz. All about the Windows 10 settings. Ano? So yung ating maging quiz is all about Windows 10 settings. So ang, ang i-master nyo is um, yung mga icons sa to. So ito yung mga icons ng system, devices, network, internet, personalization, hanggang update na security. Tapos sasamahan ko ng description. Okay? So halimbawa, uh, may tanong ako. So which which in, which uh, Windows 10 settings displays connected account information and sign-in options? So, alin kaya dyan? Which category displays connected account information and sign-in options? Try natin. Based with my explanation earlier. So, alin kaya dito sa mga to? Account. Yes, account. All right, very good. So, so ganun yung ating magiging quiz on Friday, okay? I'll be giving you uh, the icons and the description. All right? And then you'll be telling me kung ano siya ang, kung anong title ng kanyang category. All right? 